All right, folks, welcome back. Just a real quick gear video here. Over the years, I've had a bunch of people asking about how I set my auger storage up here. And I'll show you guys how I did that real quick. It's a real simple, easy modification. And I'll get this auger off for now. And I'll find a good angle here where I'm not making a shadow. So these are the Rhino XL mounts from Colpin. And I went with the ones that has the base, uh, the, the uh, four stud base. They have some that'll attach to a pole and some other ones, but I went with this one here and I'm able to get uh, three studs in my jet sled. I've never had these loosen. I've never had them move. I've never had them come off. Real sturdy design here. And these are, I mean, about as basic as they look. They do adjust, I'll show you that in a minute. They come with these rubber straps that hook in here to tie your gear down. And this one here I have set a little narrower than this side here. I don't know if you can see it in that shot. This one is quite a bit more open than this one here. Because um, I pretty much set my auger in this orientation. So the auger shaft goes here. Uh, the blades come here and set in here a little easier than if it was narrow like this one. So pretty easy there. And I'll see if I can do this one-handed. These do adjust. Um, just back this screw out and you can adjust these. And I believe these also spin. Yeah, these spin this way as well. Um, so pretty adjustable. I'm not going to fully adjust these because they're pretty simple. But I just make sure everything's tightened down nice and tight. And see if I can do this one-handed as well. Basically, I have this set up. So all I have to do is drop this shaft in here. And this should drop in there nice and level. That should sit nice and level there. Hopefully that's showing pretty good through the cell phone. And that's how I run it. Uh, if I'm just walking around, I don't use the straps. I've never had the auger fall out. Really easy, uh, keeps it nice and safe and secure. Like I said, if I am pulling behind a snowmobile, I will use the, the rubber straps there. It's just a really good modification. I know a lot of people have got these since they've seen my setup. And it's really handy to have your drill not rubbing on the ice, uh, pushing against snow really gets it elevated enough so you can go through quite a bit of snow. But that's it folks, real easy, real simple. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.